Today I want to talk about doing something uh, that will create some Anki deck flashcards. Now, I was going to use subs to SRS to convert a film or a TV show into Anki cards in order to get the audio and the um, text. I used to use a thing called Closemaster. In Closemaster, uh, you use sentences, open source sentences that they got from various languages. And what you have to do is it shows you the card and you have to type in the word um, and it'll also say the word. So I thought, well, I can easily do that in Anki and I don't want to pay for this activity. I've closed master now charge for a minimal amount for this sort of stuff. So I thought, well, I'll do this for free and maybe somebody would be interested in how to do it or how I'm going to do it. So my intention here is to create some Anki cards that have the audio, which I'm going to use the Open TTS, uh, which I did a, another video for uh, how to install. But I'm going to use Open TTS to generate the voices. I'm going to download the sentences from a, um, an open source phrase sentence uh, website, which I'll show you. Then I'm going to use some Linux text conversion tools to generate um, some SSML files for the open text. I'm going to use Audacity to chop the files up into um, the audio for the sentences. And then I'm going to combine all of that into uh, a spreadsheet and import that into Anki in order to have the deck. In. So the idea here is that uh, the, the deck will say the words in Korean and there will be a small uh, the phrase in Korean with a bit of it missing then I have to type in and also I plan to have a hint of English which is basically I can ask for a hint in Anki and it will show me the English phrase that I'm trying to complete in Korean and so I don't type in uh, in Hangul the actual word that I'm hearing and the translation I'm seeing. So that's the plan and we'll see how we get on with that. I don't know how long this video will be so if it's too long I might chop this into a two-part series but let's go ahead and get stuck in. Okay so the first step for me is to just get the sentences. So I downloaded them as a zip file from this site, um, Tatoobi, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, but anyway, uh, you can go here and they have lots of different sentences in all sorts of languages. So I downloaded all of the Korean ones. Um, and basically you just browse the site and it'll show you where you can download them um, in the search function. So once you, I got all of the sentences as a zip file, I opened it up uh, as a CSV in a spreadsheet. And you can see it here. It's basically um, the language and then an ID number and it has the sentences itself. So I'm going to tidy this up because all I really care about is the sentences. Um, so I created another spreadsheet and I imported just the sentences. And I did uh, a quick Google Translate um, in Google Sheets uh, I have a video somewhere, I'll try and find a link to it, where I show you how you can convert text using Google Translate. But basically, I just needed the two columns. I didn't need a really good translation. It just had to be good enough to give me an idea of what it was, since what I'm actually trying to do is type in the Korean words and listen to the Korean words. So the English translation is not really... Uh, that great is just a hint that I'm going to be able to use to try and differentiate the sentences. Now this needed a bit of cleaning up as well, uh, deleted most of the short sentences and then saved it as a CSV. Then I needed to manipulate it, right? So the Open TTS will only do about a hundred sentences. Uh, it just crashes otherwise. So the first thing I needed to do was take that giant monolithic file with had about 6,000 um, plus sentences in it and break it up so that in clumps of a hundred. So I used the, the said command here to just insert the word break uh, every hundred sentences. 
and then output that to a different file. So I ran that, uh, and then I got one big file which had the word break every hundred sentences, but I wanted uh, a separate file with just the 100 phrases. So I used a command uh, on Linux called cSplit. I looked for the word break and everywhere I found it, I split those off into separate files. Um, it lets you put a prefix and a suffix. So I had speak underscore and then the number, etc. So I ran that um, and generated basically a hundred files. Um, CSV files that I'll, I'll use later to, when I want to import into Anki. Then I wanted to convert those into SSML files. So I needed to put the tags, uh, the S for the speech, uh, the actual speech words, and the tag for speak and in speak. So that is the, a really basic SSML file. So I generated that. So the first thing I did was get the base name and create and change it from CSV to SSML, add the S tag at the beginning and end of every phrase, uh, S and end S at the beginning and end of every phrase, and then I put the tag for speak um, at the top and the bottom. Also, the bit I highlighted there, the break, I'm actually putting in a three quarters of a second break between each phrase. Um, so when it generates, when I use the SSML to generate the sound, there will be a quarter of a second break between every phrase. And I can use that to chop it up in Anki. Now, this gave me um, the basic um, CSV, which you can see on the right. And on the left is the basic SSML file. So it has the speak tag and then it has the speech tags for uh, each phrase and the break um, which will tell the open TTS program to put a three quarters of a second break between every phrase. And then that will allow me to identify the beginning and end of each phrase in order to split it up with Anki. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Audacity later after I've generated the file. It's, it's fairly easy to do all of them uh, in Linux, but you can do this with just a simple text editor in, you know, if you don't know any of the sort of command line tools. The next bit is to put the file name and the location of the sound file into the CSV. So when I import this into Anki, I'm going to need the text, the hint, and the sound, um, the MP3 file name that I'm going to put, what, then that will allow me to import it into Anki. So now I just need to copy the uh, SSML file and paste it into OpenTTS. So I paste it in, I find the Korean, I tell it to use SSML, I want high quality speech, I press the button and it will generate the phrases for me. Now, once that's finished, uh, you, you can configure it to save WAV files somewhere else, but I generally just, uh, after it's generated, download it directly from this web page rather than some folder somewhere else. Um, but it will store folders somewhere else if you need to. But you can just right click it and then save the audio file. And then I just save the audio file into my working space where all of the CSV and HTML files are. Then I can open up Audacity and import um, the sound file that I just created. Um, and, it, and it is a WAV file, it's not an MP3. So it imports it as import the WAV file. And you can see here now that 
there is the sound and this three quarters of a second break everywhere. Now to dice and slice this up in Audacity, what you need to do is to click on the um, uh, silence finder, right? And then you identify how what silence means and how long it is, the duration you want to identify, and then where do you want to put the label? So I basically put the label more or less, you know, a few seconds before the end or the start of the new one, a few milliseconds rather, before the start of the new one. Now, once I've identified all the labels, then I can export multiples, as I'm doing here, as MP3s. So I'm saying uh, where I want this thing to go. So I just tell it where I'm going to put it. Now, I want to put it uh, separate from the other files. So what I'm going to do here is I'll create a sounds directory so that all of this all of the sounds go into the same place and they're not all muddled up so i want the labels um actually to to have speak something but um really the way to do it is to number after you put the numbers after the prefix so the thing on the right hand side here um you just click number after prefix and then you put in the prefix you want so this is really quick. So just check everything is the way you want it before you do it, because otherwise you'll wind up deleting 100 plus files. Um, and then that's it. So that's, I'm happy with that. So I just click export. And it literally takes seconds for it to generate all of those files, because obviously these are not big sound files. So having finished now with audacity uh, we can have a look at the sound files so here are the sound files and i'll click them but i'm doing a voiceover at the moment so you won't be able to hear it but um, these are the sound files that it generated now you remember I said I needed the sound file location in here. So I need the file name uh, as the third column of the CSV. Now, when I initially did this, I did this wrong because I gave it the full path. The, in Anki, it only wants the name of the file because the, the file has to be located in your media directory. So it doesn't actually care about, you know, the rest of that. So what I've done here is I decided to do a uh, an indication uh, using an awk command that basically puts in um, the close deletion tags that I need and then you can see here that I, I put in the file location so actually later I will show you that I have to have corrected this because Anki doesn't look outside of its own media collection it only wants the name of the the sound file and it needs to be tagged in the correct place there's another problem with this which is that it doesn't have the closed deletion portion in it now this would work fine if you just wanted a regular card but because i want a closed deletion card i need to have closed deletion tags in um, and around the words that i want to have um, the words that I need to type. So um, this file is slightly wrong, but it's fine. Um, I just need to correct it. So here, 
um, you can see these are the closed deletion tags that are required. So what I did was I went around to all of the words, the first word in each sentence, and I put the closed deletion tag. So because there's only one closed deletion in here, you use C e C1 as the indicator, uh, and then you just put those tags around. Now you notice that I've changed the sound files so that it just says sound uh, colon and then the name of the file in brackets. Uh, that's the way that Anki wants to see it because the file is actually located in its media collection. That means that I can create a new deck uh, once I'm done. Um, so we'll create a, a Korean deck. And then I can import the file. But before that, let me show you. I had to create a close um, card type. So I had to put in sound, text, and hint as my three fields. Um, and then I had to change the card so that it displayed the sound, the, the text, and then a hint. And you can see on the right here a, a display of what that will look like. And in the back it just shows everything. So it's a very simple note type, but it's all I really needed. So I import the file. Um, this is the modified one that I showed you where I've got the sound now it is in a, a different order, so I have to reorder this. I need to put um, text, then the hint, and then the sound, because that's the order it is in my spreadsheet. And I need to make sure that I import it into the correct deck. So import that, and there we go. Now, because I have already moved the media file, it plays this as, me as soon as I um, open it up, because it has it. So here's the one that's imported. So you notice that it's imported the sound file surrounded by the sound tags. It's put the closed deletion here, which I imported, and then it has the hint. So all of this, it works. That's all I need uh, for this to be effective for me. So I can now uh, generate more of these cards as and when I, I feel like it. So whenever I want, I can just do another 100 closed deletion cards with sound. So I want a closed deletion. You don't have to. You can just have the regular ones, so you don't have to worry about all of those closed deletion tags and all of that. Okay, so that's how you do it. I hope uh, you could manage to do this yourself. I'm, I've hopefully given you enough instructions. Obviously, I used a lot of text manipulation uh, command line stuff in Linux, but you can do all of that uh, with a text editor and a, just a search and replace. So if you're on Windows and you have Notepad++ or Notepad, you should be able to do a search and replace and do all of that. These are all text files. Um, so it, it might take you a bit longer to do the, the matches and the substitutions and the replacements or whatever, but it's still doable. Uh, many of the commands I used are available under Windows. You can just um, install them. Um, but, you know, you, you should be able to do all of this. It's relatively straightforward to do it all inside of a text editor because all you're trying to do is just generate the, the tags and the CSV to import, and then you just stick all of the sound files out. You will need a dash Z because you need to chop up the audio into phrases into you know individual sentences but uh, you can get that for windows so there isn't anything here that i've done that you wouldn't be able to do with windows um, just in a slightly different way so hopefully this was of use to you uh, as i say i'm gonna put uh, continue to put um, you know a sort of a label on the thumbnail so that you know uh, is this to do with electronics or language learning or whatever other crazy thing I happen to be up to at the time. So hopefully this is useful. If you like it, you know, share it around or subscribe. But thank you very much.